Welcome back to the Bali Chronicles. <laughs> and now we're joined by Steve, and he's actually been the person that's been doing all of the video this weekend, flying the drone and doing all cool kinds of cool things like that. Um, and what I've seen a lot with photographers and videographers is you get into a lot of weird positions. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And you said even shooting today, where were you experiencing some of your stuff? Uh, kind of up here and down here. Yep. And, a and down there maybe. What's interesting, Steve's never had an adjustment, so this is going to be a fun one. Um, but I really want to get, get a quick side view of Steve, so if you just want to face me, and so you can get a view of this, what I want you guys to notice is the accentuation of the rounding of the spine, so we call this a hyperkyphosis, and then also the caving in of the chest right here. And so, again, that is a typical you know presentation that we'll see with a lot of people that are doing photography, but also desk workers, uh, people that are spending a lot of time on computers or on their phones, people that are in front of a lot of technology, um, and it's kind of like the trend of this new generation. Um, and so for chiropractors to come in and be able to free that stuck energy, that, that stress system, and allow it to properly move is huge. And so real quick, I want you also to show, just facing me, uh, when you go to bend down about how much flexibility you have in flexion, and then how about when you go back into extension? Okay, so when you, if you notice, when he goes back in extension, he kind of uses his hips, but his spine stays straight. So it'd be interesting to see you get a, a, a post flexion and extension um, after we adjust them. You ready? Yep. All right, go ahead and go face down on the table there. If you don't mind taking your glasses off, yeah. and put them underneath the headrest or somewhere else. There we go. All right. So I always think it's so much fun to be able to adjust people for the first time because you're gonna see a lot of dysfunctional traits. And so, uh, as you can see right here, uh, Steve just laying on the table, let's see. No, that's his, that's how it is. So you look, I want you to see um, this angle right here, how far his foot is rotated over uh, on that right side. And so usually that is a hip thing. Uh, it'll come from the actual hip socket, which will cause that eversion of the foot. We're going to bring the legs together. So again, even when I take out the twist and bring them together, his foot naturally wants to go like that again. But if you look at that, he's also got about a three quarters of an inch deficiency or a leg length discrepancy on the right side. So a lot shorter on the right side, you can see it one at the heels and you can also see it again at the ankles. So if you look at the ankles, you'll see it. And if you look at the heels, you'll see it. Um, again, I don't have to touch it. You'll see it right there naturally. And so there's a lot of dysfunction going out on this pelvis. Let's see what happens when we bring the legs here. He's actually got great uh, flexibility, hamstring flexibility that way. Or the, or the quads really, it's actually flexibility of the quads. The quads don't stop him from going into that uh, hip flexion. Or so not hip flexion, but that'd be a hamstring flexion. All right, so let's check out pelvis here. So typically if you have an uh, everted foot, so going out like that, then it's inverted pelvis. And so he'd be tight there. And that's what I'm picking up that's causing some distortion that his ilium is rotated here. And so meaning this ilium is getting a lot closer to the sacrum, there should be a little bit more of a gap. And for him, I, I do need, so he's stuck in this flexion point right here at about the T10. And so something that I have found helpful to get rid of, <laughs> I already wants to move, is um, to get rid of, help or get rid of this flexion point is to put the head into a slight extension. So bring your head backwards slightly and then drop your chin down. There you go. So take a breath in for me, let it out. Huh? <sighs> and then put your face back down. Ooh. It's fun adjusting new people. That, that sucker had not moved, I don't know, maybe at least five, six years when it got stuck in that point. But it was deep, 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 deep adjustment to the point where you started to feel the disc move a little bit, the disc in between the joints there. Okay, and he was also having some, some issues. It feels like it's a little bit more of a rotated rib right there. So go ahead and take a breath in. We're dropping it back this way and out. Got it, good rib movement. And take a breath, brother. There you go, let it out. Because as you can see, we still need to do stuff with this. The leg lengths are still still in balance. We're gonna adjust that ilium now. So go ahead and go this side up for me. You'll face me this way. Perfect. Would have been this leg. Where you want my shoulders? I got you. So you can bring your head a little bit more to the center. There we go. And then just like that. Sweet. And so since it's rotated this way, we're gonna pull it this way. So we're gonna really open up off the sacrum and then continue that motion coming down. Take a breath, let it out right there. Perfect. Go ahead and go back on your stomach. We're gonna double check that. All right, so 
Still got a little bit of foot flare. I would say he's about a half inch better on the leg length. So if you want to come check and get close. So we bring the, if you look at the medial malleolus, about, about a half inch difference. I'd say he's probably still short, maybe a quarter of an inch. So we got a half inch change there. That's really good. So let's check out and see if there's anything else going on in the pelvis. Ah, <laughs> when I do this, his legs are allowed to extend. So watch what happens to his feet when I push down at the sacrum. All right, go ahead and face me this side. This is gonna be life changing for you, brother. All right, so now we're gonna adjust his sacrum on this side. And we see if we can get the rest of the balancing of the system here. So again, already wants to move. I'm gonna actually drop a little bit more on that. There you go, there you go. back on your stomach. What you, a lot of what you hear is the flexion of the table. You know, when we don't have, when we have the portable table, we get a little bit more flexion, a little bit more of the accessory sound. Okay, so now with the legs, I would say we're near balanced. He still has that little bit of eversion on the right side, but when we bring the legs together, I'm getting much closer to balancing, and now he actually has a little bit more space naturally. So that's a good point. So what we may be starting to work now, moving forward, is more of the ankle. So go ahead and roll on your back for me. All right, we're gonna check out your neck here. There we go. Again, first adjustment, here we are. So a lot of times when the people have the anterior head carriage and the rounding of the thoracic spine, the C5, C6 goes posterior. So right here, Ooh, whew. nice. And we're going, so that was like C6 on the C7. This would be C5 on the C6. Both moved awesome. I'll recheck the legs here. Yeah. So I'm gonna see if we can, ankle moves, oh well, the calcaneus moves okay. He's got a stuck talus. So we're gonna adjust his talus on this right side. So right there, sweet. So now when he walks, he should be able to have a little bit better, um, both pronation and inversion. Sweet, you're all set brother, stand on up. All right. Let the good people know how you feel. Feel better. Feel, yeah. Feel it's a little nice. better. Yeah. So let's check and see your mobility. So uh, if you don't mind moving back a little bit, yeah. you just want to go ahead and, and bend forward again. Yeah, and see so how, do it this way. So yeah, see how it feels when you go ahead and bend forward. And then go ahead and lean backwards. Good. So I would say we're starting to get there. What we adjusted, um, what I would say would, would be good for him to continue to work is this T12 area. There was a huge release, and now he's gonna need to continue working extensive exercises because these muscles have become weak, and the flexor muscles on the front of the body have become really strong just because of his positioning. So he spends a lot more time in flexion than he does extension. And so for him, I'd be mainly working extensive exercises to build that back up so that will allow him to draw his shoulders back and then he'll be able to get more into a lumbar extension. But for now, good job, bro. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs>